I said, if you're wondering why Antifa is running around attacking ICE facilities, calling for the abolition of ICE, well, politicians like this are most likely responsible. This is Rashida Talib. She tweets stuff like this. This is a left-leaning politician. You know, if CNN want to talk about, you know, dog whistling and inciting violent behavior, why does the left get to? Look at this tweet. Just so folks are clear, as a former immigration and social justice attorney, I watched firsthand under President Obama and later Trump that at ICE acts as a rogue agency that discards the law and human rights. Hashtag abolish ICE once and for all. Let's take this down. You know what you hear all day long for the past couple weeks? Under the Biden administration, Antifa has been rioting at ICE facilities in Portland and in different states. They've been attacking ICE facilities. They've been chanting abolish ICE. Why? Because they have left-leaning, really, really, really far left-leaning politicians like her that are obviously socialists calling for the abolition of ICE. So who goes to the ICE facilities because this politician says they don't listen to the law? Antifa. And that's how this works. That's exactly how this works. And the mainstream media doesn't cover it. The mainstream media doesn't talk about it. They don't want to they don't want to say, "Oh, well, well, this politician and this their violent rhetoric is 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 causing the behavior of their followers uh to do violent things." Okay, okay. I if you're going to say that about the right, you got to say that about the left. Okay, I get it. It's hypocritical. Why? Because they don't care. Because it's a political game. They're fighting this political fight. Yes, they know they're hypocrites. They know it's wrong, but they don't care. They don't care. They simply do not care. And notice that Antifa is putting pressure at ICE facilities. They're rioting at ICE facilities. This could be why. This could be why Biden and his administration are taking some pretty swift action when it comes to immigration. Have you guys been seeing this? A certain memo was leaked calling for the release of all of the ICE detainees at the southern border in Texas. Do you guys see this? You see the connection? You see how Antifa riots at ICE facilities and then days later, these mysterious memos come from the Biden administration to let out all the detainees in the ICE facilities. You guys see that? This isn't a conspiracy theory at all. They know what they're doing. Let me show you a video. This is uh, Tucker Carlson tonight talking about a leaked memo from the Biden administration that was calling for the release of ICE detainees in Texas. Take a look. Well, I've got some exclusive reporting for you tonight. In Joe Biden's first day in office, the Department of Homeland Security issued a sweeping directive calling for a 100-day pause on deportations. We reported that last night. We now have an internal email sent yesterday to ICE officers in Texas that shows how this order was enacted. And we're quoting, as of midnight tonight, stop all removals. This includes Mexican bus runs, charter flights, and commercial removals until further, further notice. All cases are to be considered no significant likelihood of removal in foreseeable future. In other words, stop sending people here illegally back to the country of origin. The official goes on to say this, and we're quoting, release them all immediately. No sponsor available is not acceptable any longer. The official notes in the email that he is just, quote, the messenger explaining the directive. It wasn't his idea. It was Joe Biden's. Now, this email was news to us. Friday's memorandum from the Biden administration to halt deportations did not call for people here illegally to be released from detention. We made some calls today and we learned that Homeland Security is currently hammering out how to enact the memorandum. It does not specifically call for the instant release of all migrants in detention. So what, what was this memo about? Just the result of the complete chaos that resulted when the incoming administration on its first day changed a policy this big without explaining what it means. Chaos. Well, we thought the last administration had a monopoly on that. Apparently not. 
So apparently they backtracked because it got leaked. Apparently they're backtracking all of a sudden saying, oh, no, 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 that's not what it means. That's not what it means. It's, 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 it's we, honestly, we don't even know what it means. And that's why Tucker is saying, dude, is this administration just, they don't even know what they're doing? Are there, are, are there rogue appointees in Biden's administration that are just doing what they want to appease Antifa? I think there's a lot of questions to be asked as to how this stuff is, going on. Let's get this up. Tatum Report. Again, you guys can check this out at TatumReport.com. Tatum Report uh, writes an article on this story. Release them all. Biden organizing jailbreak order for illegal aliens. On Friday evening's edition of Tucker Carlson Tonight, host Tucker Carlson exposed a shocking internal memo sent to Texas Immigration and Customs Enforcement personnel on Friday night revealing that the Biden administration has ordered a full jailbreak for illegal aliens detained in immigration custody. As of midnight tonight, stop all removals. This includes Mexican bus runs, charter flights, and commercial removals until further notice. All cases are to be considered. No significant likelihood of removal for the foreseeable future. Release them all immediately. No sponsor available is not, a, is not acceptable any longer. The jailbreak measure may be Biden's most radical yet, following the administration's termination of all deportations from the United States for at least 100 days. An exception was made for illegal aliens arrested by CBP at the border and inmates being released from prisons and jails. However, the ICE memo makes it clear that aliens released from immigration detention facilities aren't subject, uh, subject to deportation. Big League Politics reports, the wide-ranging jailbreak order almost certainly ensures that some of the aliens released from immigration detention will be violent felons, repeat offenders, and criminals linked to drug and human smuggling. The measure forces DHS itself to act as a sanctuary department, freeing criminal aliens to the streets, even when many of them may have pending arrest warrants that could land them in custody in county jails. Three-quarters of ICE arrestees have previous criminal records. These people are now being released into American cities and communities with no plan to either deport or detain them for the foreseeable future. Let's pull this down. So, two things here. This is dangerous. This is dangerous because the Biden administration, this is what they're willing to do. This was a legitimate memo that came down from the top. This is what they're willing to do. This is dangerous. If this does continue, if this does go down, it's very clear. There are criminals. I'm not saying all immigrants. I'm not saying all of them are criminals. I'm saying that there is a high percentage of people that use families. They use children. There are criminals that come from different countries that take advantage of our weak immigration system. They use families. They use kids in order to pose as families, in order to come over the southern border. They get arrested. They get thrown into an ICE facility. And then now the Biden administration is alluding to the fact that they maybe will just release them all. So if the left really did care, why aren't they caring about reforming the immigration system by vetting that, hey, if we're going to release people, are we releasing the right people? Are we releasing pedophiles, rapists, and felons that are coming from foreign countries that are taking advantage of children, legitimate refugees, legitimate immigrants? Are there evil, bad people that are taking advantage of these refugees? Why doesn't the left even bring that up? It happens. You understand that that happens, right? It happens way more than you realize. It happens way more than it should. Percentages have been rising of men posing as having families and they're just little kids or they're women that get trafficked, they get used. 
as scapegoats in order to come over the border. Oh, we're a family. Oh, we're a family. If the left really cared, they would be vetting who is going to be released. They would be vetting. Are they, does this person have a criminal record? Are they a fugitive from a Latin American country? Why don't you care about this? Why do you just want people to come into the country without them being vetted at all whatsoever? And I'll also say this. If the left really cared about immigrants coming over the southern border, if the left really cared about the Hispanic community, they would not be taking swift actions like this without an entire infrastructure in plan. Now, just hear me out, okay? I just want to point out the fact that these people do not care about these communities. They don't care. Where are they going to go? Where are these families going to go? Where? Where are they going to live? How are they going to get there? How are they going to survive? Where do you suggest that we put hundreds of thousands of people? Where do you suggest? Oh, oh, just put them on welfare? Make them recipients of the state? Give them a crappy paycheck every two weeks? Once a month? Making peanuts? What do you suggest? Oh, oh, see, now we're starting to have some serious conversations. If you guys really cared about these communities, you would be doing everything in your power to make sure that every single Hispanic, every single immigrant that's coming through the southern border that gets released from these detention facilities has a prosperous life to live wherever they go. But you guys don't do that. Because all you care about is damn votes. So don't lecture me about caring about these Hispanic communities when you guys don't have a, 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 an apparatus or a, a, a reform in place to send them somewhere after they come. And your idea is just to slap them on welfare? Because <laughs> I tell you one thing, the Hispanic community are complete capitalists and entrepreneurs. 100%. They want to work. They want to build their own system. They want to build their own capitalistic business empire. The Hispanic community, that's who they are. So you're going to bring them over to this country and sell them some cheap socialist utopia where you throw them on welfare and they're recipients of the state and they can't build or build uh, economic wealth, generational wealth. That's what they want. So you think you're going to take a bunch of Latin Americans from foreign countries that, that are capitalists, bring them to the United States of America and tell them to vote for a party that is anti-capitalism, anti, -capitalism? anti it's like, come here, live the American dream, live the American dream so you can build your own wealth, be a superstar, be a capitalist. They come and all they hear are Democrats just crapping on capitalism and the American dream.